Hello, it's Lacola here and welcome to this slice of life video of my Weeb retirement home where I can peacefully be with my Genshin waifus. It has been a long and tiring journey to get here, but I've finally made it. My ultimate retirement home village. I'll be taking you through a tour of the entire Inazuma teapot layout, starting with the main house, the Japanese buffet tree house with Sawa, this fancy palace that overlooks the area, and my farm which I don't really care too much about because I'm going to destroy it once I get that farming achievement. Now, before I get started with the tour, I just want to say all these designs were based off the fantastic YouTubers that have put together creative ideas on designing different teapot creations. I basically just tweaked their original ideas, so credits goes to them. This has been a tough journey for me as soon as 2.2 hit. My sakura tree was literally level 20 and I barely explored Inazuma. But putting my speedrun mindset into a farming and exploration practices, I was able to reach the sakura tree level 40 in just a matter of 2 days. I achieved many crowns along the way, but that wasn't my priority. My priority was to get the Inazuma realm unlocked. So after unlocking the Inazuma realm, it was just a matter of mastering the secret technique of furniture glitching. I almost decided to give up on this. Mastering this technique is probably harder than mastering the Hutel animation cancel. After mastering the secret technique from the professional teapot masters, I was able to build my dream paradise. Welcome to the tour, hope the intro has gave you some insight into the amazing journey that got me to this very point. As you enter the teapot, you'll be presented by a variety of colours and amazing Japanese inspired scenery. I wanted to create a zen garden but not have too many wallings to cover the amazing sunset view, so I decided to build an, this open space setting surrounded by beautiful Inazuma foliage. The stone pavements can take up a lot of load, so I decided to make some cutbacks and went with the rock pathing instead. It actually has a nice feel to it since I was going for a colourful garden look anyways. While talking to the bird teapot here, I made sure that I had some details of scenery on the right. I thought it was a nice creative choice as every day I would talk to this NPC to collect my coins. And I decided why not have some beautiful visuals on the side here. Over in the courtyard area we have the Genshin Symphony Harp being displayed. This is a great place where friends can come together and play harmonic tunes to each other. At night, the place illuminates beautifully. I made sure my lighting placements cover most corners with light to make it feel like the streets of Kyoto. That's pretty much it for area 1. Now let's move on to area 2. We can either walk and enjoy the fast scenery or just use the teleport. I think most people would just use the teleport so I'm going to use the teleport. Alright, here we are. Area 2, let's go. Welcome to the Japanese Buffet Treehouse. As we enter the area, we are presented with a stunning view of the treehouse itself. At night or day, the visuals are still stunning. There are two levels to the treehouse, so let's explore the first level. We would need to enter into the fish pond stairs first. This is pretty much a small relaxing tea area where you can unwind and feel very close to nature. I'm relaxed! <laughs> if we move on to the second level, that's when things get real exciting. I like collecting rocks and adding lots of them to provide a more natural feel to the elevated landforms. Now on the left here is a small shrine. You can toss a coin in and make a prayer but Mona is too poor, so that's probably not going to happen. Anyways, speaking of Mona, as we all know, Mona has issues with colliding into objects when she's in her alternative sprint. I specifically designed this natural rock staircase for Mona. It's an accessible staircase for alternative sprinters like her and Ayaka. Now, watch this. Absolutely beautiful. Innovation right here, Lacola's Teapot 2021. Now, welcome to level two of the treehouse. 
I said that this is a buffet treehouse, so this is the buffet. As we can see here, there is a wide range of foods to choose from. Now if that doesn't please your needs, then perhaps enjoying a view of the moon accompanied by Sawa will. This is probably one of my favourite spots in the teapot at the moment. Now we can see area 3 in a the distance. There is no teleport to this estate, so we'll have to walk it unfortunately. But that's fine, we've got two of the best sprinters here, Mona with a lost prayer and Sayu, so let's go. Bit of a walk for anyone visiting, but surely that doesn't matter because the amazing visuals provided by this realm. I don't even know why the other realms are not as detailed as this one. Alright, here we are at area 3. On the right is a small housing area with a restaurant and forging needs. Unfortunately the forge doesn't even forge so we can only imagine it does. At this estate we have a small front yard where guests and myself can enjoy this pond and this rock I guess. I ran out of space so I couldn't complete the front yard. So this is pretty much what we're gonna get. Moving on from that we have a small courtyard here where we can sit down again and have more tea. But at least the visuals here are different, where we are surrounded by beautiful Inazuma estate structures. Now, what makes this place special is that we are going to need Venti and Zongli to climb to the top platform. Enduring the painful climb, we have finally reached to the top of the platform, where we have a spectacular overview of the entire teapot realm. After witnessing the view, we can then fly to the next area at ease, or we can just teleport there. This area is my fourth area, the farm. There isn't really much to it besides the main purpose of this area is to farm for my achievement. These farming grounds take up a fair amount of your load count, so I really want to get rid of them once I've practically got my achievement. Alright, let's return back home and view the inside of my house. Now, I only really decorated the main room, so hopefully you'll like it. As we enter the main room, we are greeted by the many Genshin waifus. Lisa will provide her assistance, and you will need to check yourself in. Which then, you can pick a waifu to choose from. And then, you can take him to this room. <laughs> yeah, boy. Anyways, that's all for my Weeb Inazuma retirement home. Hope you enjoyed the tour. If you want to learn how to put together some of the places I displayed in this video, remember to check out these creators uh, for those tutorial videos. Hope this video has gave you some inspiration, or at least the motivation to work on your teapot. With the release of the Inazuma furniture, and this secret technique to furniture glitching, this has really saved the teapot content, I must say. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. It's not burning! Dude, what burn. the f? Why is this here? This is fing awkward! Friendship to my creation quicker? Nah. No. Leave. No. This, this is fake water. You want me to burn your grass? I really like Can I burn it? Gas. I'm relaxed. I'm seating. I think your house is broken. Stop it. What's Please. the point of How this? How can I stop? <laughs> I can't stop! I can't move anything! What the f is this Hello, shit? Follow my hides! <laughs> Secret hideout! <laughs> you see me rolling? Yeah, yeah, you're going so you're going fast. So fast. Wait, I'm gonna go to the edge and fall. What? Bye, guys.